All right, YouTube, new toy time. But you already know what it is because you read the title. And that's why you're watching the video. Check it out. And it's only going to be like T minus three, four minutes until we take this apart and literally start modifying it. Ugh. There she is. Ha ha ha. Let's see how well I fit. She's got suspension yeah. already. Fits pretty good. Watch out, Shackle. Shh. All right. We're ready. All right, YouTube. What do we got here? We got wires, a jack shaft, leader tiny sprocket. We got a couple of cute little batteries on a battery tray that's not welded in straight. Got a fuse. All right. Yippity skippity. Let's see what we end up with here. All right. So we uh, took the battery out. We uh, had the seat belt clicked together so the belt alarm doesn't go off. Switch on. 36 volt non little battery here. And uh, you guys like Lights are on and they have a little smoke out. There we go. Good, okay. Oh, I'm So little motor that was here, it don't fit too well. Um, this, we gotta get this out of the way. And even with this out of the way, this motor, no bueno here, because as soon as I hit the first bump, yeah, that's not gonna work. And uh, we're not gonna need the power for the jack shaft. So I've already started kind of, uh, I'm just gonna, Unbolt everything off of here, unbolt the rear axle, I already got the brake loose. We're gonna pop this thing out. Hopefully I remember to put the chain back on when I'm done. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna cut this off and then go about uh, figuring out how to mount the motor up. I think my battery is gonna go right here because it's gonna be up and out of my way because my legs go over the top. I'll jump in and position it before I go and I'll ribbon out it down to the frame. And then I'll probably stick the controller upside down in here. Kind of same sort of method. So yeah, let's get after it. All right, so when you go to take this apart, uh, for some reason, if you want to take the gear off the motor, that's left-handed thread. This jack shaft left-handed thread. And this chain. So these come with T8F chain. These MY20 motors or 1020 motors. Uh, TGF chain, but these are... 25h chain factory stuff but the jack shaft gear so you guys don't even have to order one which is kind of cool i didn't know that is a let's count together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven tooth which is kind of cool so we're just going to stick that 11 tooth right on the end of the motor and uh bob is your brother's on So what are you doing here, ma'am? I am just making holes. Hol holes to mount uh, Nothing. your new cool scooter pack up. Nothing at all. Look at this. Sorry guys, this is intermission from this. Uh, we got my uh, glasses on here. We got the axle out and everything. Got the grinder out here. I'm gonna cut this off, this off, and this off. Probably gonna leave this tray here for the moment. And uh, yeah, let's roll. Alright, 
so I got the mount on, weld it all up. A um, little bit of buffing and sanding. I'll do more later when I pull this off. I haven't decided what I'm going to do here with this. Um, but for right now, that's on. Start drilling some holes. Hindsight being what it is, I would have wished I made this place a taste wider. But it is what it is. Drill some holes and uh, let's roll with it. So I think I'm foregoing my plan of mounting it here. Well, it would be good for vibration dampening. I don't like the looks of it. Plus, we have an interference problem with my motor. So I cut the bracket off that held the battery here. That was ugly and vestigial. And uh, I think we're going to mount this down here with some nut zerts. And I'm going to try to come up with some springs or some rubber or something so it's isolation damp. And I like that better because this will look clean. I'll have the controller here. I can tuck all the wiring in the back here. Uh, motor here, simple dimple. So this is what I came up with for a mount. I don't know, I might do some more dialing in of it. But for right now, this is this is what we got. I did a single hole in the front so I could reach down between here and get this off. That was not from before for the same reason to be able to get it on and off in its previous app location. Um, so yeah, there we go. And I ended up cutting battery here. The little back braces off here. Um, Cause I'm gonna end up running the battery right here strapped on temporarily. Cause I don't have a piece of metal to weld on uh, that's long enough and what I want. Um, I'm gonna come up with a piece of angle or channel and weld on down across here. And then I'll probably uh, give a little bit more to this. And then probably uh, put something in here, maybe just an extra piece of this, and uh, call it good. So, there we are. All right, well, I kind of jumped ahead here because uh, you guys seen all the hard part here. But yeah, from the controller being mounted, I went ahead and wired everything up. Um, if you guys really want it, do a uh, comment down in the bottom and uh, let me know if you want to do an MY20 uh, 1020 motor wiring video but it's all wired up bolted on I just did the chain so uh, let's power it up ooh we have voltage when I see none of the magic smoke getting out let's tap the throttle I'll tap the throttle you guys look this is gonna be fun Look at that. All right, well, uh, let's uh, do something with uh, temporarily mounting that and uh, put a seat on it and go from there. Yeehaw, folks, yeehaw. All right. Here we go. Oh, I gotta turn her on. On switch. Voltage. Tally ho! Oh shit! <laughs> he can't be able to grab the brake. Let me put you guys down. <laughs> 